Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is another Makeup Monday and I'm not in my usual setting. I am in Ireland. Um, I'm just taking a little bit of time away from myself, spending with my family and doing some makeup. So today I have decided that I was just do a little bit of like kind of a get ready with me chit chat, going through the products I brought with me, what I'm using up, what I'm trying to, you know, finish and hit pan on. So yeah, I am in Ireland. I was at my friend's wedding at the weekend and it was absolutely amazing. My voice is gone. It's absolutely gone. It's beginning to come back a little bit, but like Jesus, it was absolutely gone on Saturday night. I couldn't even speak. It was so bad. And I had a sore throat from shouting and screaming and she look at it. It was all the book left that we were at. It was great crack all together. <laughs> I'm sure she's got all the videos to back it up. Um, yeah, it was, it was a mental, mental weekend absolutely mental met some lovely lovely people that i'm sure i'm gonna stay in contact with um yeah sure it was a great wedding all around you know a good irish wedding you can't beat it like so what i have on the face today is if you hear that buzz in the range um this is an avon product i'm not a massive fan of it it's the a new um age transforming foundation spf 15 i am just using it to get rid of it i'm also using a little bit of a lancome tilt Tint Idol Ultra Wear, it was a sample I got given. And then my concealer is the Maybelline Eraser. Now I actually went in, this is Ivory 00, because I went in to get another one and I, the numbers had all changed and I didn't know what this one was because this one was Ivory Christmas because I think it was like some kind of a, a Christmas little thing going on. And I got that. I also have a setting spray on which I use as more of a primer. It's the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, party all night, stay all day. I just use it to kind of like make my concealer tacky before I go in with the rest of it. So I'm going to set the base before I do anything more and I'm using Accentuate which is a MAC. I'm not sure if this is a pro product anymore. It's been a while. But I'm just going to powder down a little bit of that before I get into my bronzer. Yeah, so that's the crack. I'm spending some time with my family which is really nice. I don't get over here as often as I'd like. But though, fair, to be fair now, I actually have. I've been over and back now a lot in the last couple of months. Like I was over like there just before Christmas last year and now it's only March and I'm back over again. So yeah, not doing too bad I suppose. But I like just to help out because this is my home house. So I like just to, you know, to help out around here and do a bit and my sister lives down the road and yeah, it's nice. I like being home. There's no place like home as the fella says and God damn it, they're right. Sometimes you just need to go home. And this is my home and I like being here. So now we're going to do a bit of bronzer. The bronzer that I'm using at the minute is the LA Girl Pro Face. Now I think this is actually a face powder, but sure look, I use it as a contour because the color is just a nice shade of brown. It reminds me of the NW45 from MAC. Um, it's that kind of a tone. I like that tone for a, a nice bronzing look, especially when you're as pale as me. So I only tap this in because it is um, it's quite, quite a bit of kickback, but it's quite pigmented as well, so I don't want to be using too much. But um, I used that for the wedding as well, and it was really nice, so, yeah. And I wound up having to wear runners to the wedding because I do a dance class on a Wednesday, and I fell and I hurt my feet. I fell on the ball of my foot, but whatever it did, it bruised like the full way up my toes. So my ankles were absolutely shot because they obviously took the hit, and, um, yeah, at the wedding I was absolutely struggling in the heels and I don't normally struggle in high heels, I'm fine. But I really did, so the, the bruising has actually gone through the foot. Oh God, it was a disaster. So I had to go down and back to the hotel and get me runners and then come back up to the, the city hall. I bet you she was looking at me going, oh my God, she's, what is she wearing? But I was like, I literally can't. And then I was freezing as well. I didn't bring a jacket, so I had to go back up and get like my woolly jacket, which is like kind of sheep. This thing, it's like this. So it's not like wedding appropriate at all. But uh, sure look, I was freezing. I was like, I don't do well in the cold. Like I like the winter weather, but I do prefer to stay warm. It's just that kind of thing, isn't it? So let's get that bronzed. Yeah. But it was a great, great wedding. The band they had was a band called Black Tie. Is it Black Tie Weddings or something like that? absolutely amazing like they sang everything like traditional pop bit of rock there was literally nothing that they left unturned like every everybody there if it was your thing you had your thing i 
I love this bronzer powder um, because as well it um it blends really well so you can kind of tell that it's got like a, it's more of a foundation powder but it's fine for what I need it for see it just it just looks nice it's just a really nice one I'm using natural light. Normally I'd have my ring lights, but I didn't bring anything with me like that. So, you know. Oh, Jesus, we're very close. We're very close. We're friends here. We're friends. Right. Now, blusher. Uh, the blusher I am using. Where's my blusher brush? This is um, Stay Pretty from MAC, and it definitely is a pro product. I don't even know if to do this colour anymore. But it's one of my favourites. I love it. Mac, like especially with some of their pro products, like they do put them in and out, and then they'll relaunch them like years later. Well, I absolutely love it. It just gives them really nice, like a healthy pink, if you know what I mean, to the skin. Like a rosy pink, that's what I'm trying to say. I like to be rosy. So guys, how are y'all getting on? Don't forget to like and subscribe and do all the YouTube things. I always forget to say that. I'm an absolute disaster. But I will say that while I'm here in Ireland, like I've I've literally edited, I think about four videos this morning. I have the the iPad on charge over there, ready to do some more this evening. Like I feel I'm being productive while I'm being here, even though I'm I'm chilling, because like I don't find YouTube hard work, do you know what I mean? Like it's only a bit of a laugh for me, like but it's still nice to be able to get a bit of work done so that I can stay on track with it because it's my little project. So I like that. I like being able to stay on track with things. But yeah, I'm gonna go down to my sister's now in a minute as soon as I get this done. Um, I've done a wash for my brother. I've cleaned up the place, emptied the dishwasher. Done a bit like. I haven't cleaned the floors yet, but I might do that later tonight. I'm not that fussed about it. No, that's that blush on. It's nice, I like it. Right. I've no idea what I'm going to do with eyeshadows because I haven't really like brought, you know, I wanted to do a Paddy's Day look but I didn't actually bring any greens. Well that's clever of you Tala, isn't it? Um, yeah, I didn't actually bring any greens with me. And the palette I used for the wedding was um, this Morphe one. So it's the 350O. I actually hadn't used it before and it's a really nice palette. I was Because I used to just collect makeup back in the day and never actually use it. So now I'm trying to make a conscious effort of using uh, everything. So yeah, I didn't actually bring any greens and I have no intention of buying any either. So I don't know if I'll be back in, our, in the UK in order to actually shoot a St. Patrick's Day look. Oh, I have this kind of a greeny, bluey, purpley pigment. I mean, I could do something with that really. I mean, like I suppose I could if I really had to. I really, you know, could make it up as I go along. Sure, so that's what I thought about. Right, let me see, what am I going to use? I need brows. Brows, right. I am using for brows is the Tame and Frame uh, Brow Gel in the shade Espresso, I think it is. Yeah, Espresso 04. I've been using this for bloody ages. It takes forever to go through these pots, honest to God. I keep activating them with the Duraline, so the kind of, you kind of get more for your money out of them. Well, I've been using this one for a long time now. I know I have an Anastasia Beverly Hills one that I need to start using because I need to get rid of that too, but I keep going by in the NYX one. That's the Tame and Frame by NYX, so let's get into this one. When my sister now sees me all dolled up, she'll be like, where are you going? Absolutely nowhere. Down to see you. Oh, we were buckling here the other night in the kitchen. Oh, it was great crack. My, brother's my brother is learning to jive, so... He had me and my sister up, like, swinging us around the place. Oh, holy moly, the sweat out of us. Jesus. You'd never think, like, you know, dancing a few steps would actually have you sweating. And then last night, I was down with my sisters, and there was, like, some Irish Kamalia kind of stuff going on on the, on the radio. And we were like, I just got up and did a bit of Irish dancing. And I was like, oh, my God. After about, I think it was two, four, six, eight bars, I was done. I was like, oh, Jesus. I was like, I haven't done that in a long time. I have not done that in a long time. Mind you, I did a bit of Irish dancing now on Saturday night at the wedding. That was a bit of crack, but I didn't get to go to the Cayley part of it because that started at about, I think I left the wedding. It was either 3.15 or 3.45, I can't remember. It was either quarter two or quarter past. It was about a half an hour in the difference, I can't remember. 
Um, I can't remember which way it was. But yeah, I remember I went up to the bedroom to get changed because I was like sick of being in the dress and being kind of restricted and all. So I was like, I'm going to go up and change it to something like comfy and then I'll come back down and we'll, the, I'll join in in the Kaylee like, because the girls were all like, oh, you're going to sing a song or whatever. And I was like, no, I'm not singing anything, but I'll play a tune whistle and play a tune on that for you, like. And yeah, sure, I went upstairs and that was the end of me, fell on the bed and that was it. Good luck, good luck. Oh, I mean, I had some amount to drink, like. As any of you know that have ever been to an Irish wedding, like, they're mental. But that's what you need. So I left at about like half three somewhere. I, I say half three is a ballpark. It's either 50 minutes either or before, I can't remember. And then the wedding itself didn't finish until six in the morning when they had to be kicked out of the bar area because they had to set up for breakfast. And she was meant to set up for breakfast, she'll probably still be there. And I know they did round two on the second day but I, was, I left because I was like, oh, I'm not able. I'm literally not able. I did, and I did originally have booked for two nights there, but um, yeah, it was just the way it worked out this time. I just didn't, but it was grand. I think one night of, one night of heavy drinking now was enough for me. Considering that I don't normally drink, it was a lot. It was great crack though, great crack altogether. So that is the Inglot, or not the Inglot, the Nick's Tame and Frame thingy, right. That's that done. What are we doing next? A bit of eyeshadow, I suppose. That might help. So I'm going to use this palette. Will I? Will I? Will I? Will I? I'm sure I will while it's in front of me. Um, I'm going to do some. Yes. I'm going to use this uh, cream one here in the corner. I'm going to use this one here as my base color, just for an all over. I wish they had a mirror in this because it's really bloody awkward not having a mirror in it. Make sure that concealer is settled. Move it out if, it's, if it has. Yeah. Okay. And then just pat that down just to seal it in so it's not gonna start running on you. I started watching that um, American Conspiracy, the octopus one. Oh my God, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, give me two seconds. Okay, I was gonna use, um, typical, the minute I start talking, this thing goes on behind me, anyhow. I was gonna use um, my big Morphe palette, the one that I used for the wedding, but I think I'm gonna use this little elf one instead which is this color here. Now I've used all the cream and the brown is getting a go on, so we're gonna use the brown and the red today just to keep it simple. I don't fancy doing anything too fancy. I wonder is that really loud now? Can you hear that really bad? I'm trying to use up as much palettes as I can. And while I'm here, like, and I have the time, sure I may as well use them. It's so weird. Done. Now we're gonna do a little bit on the top. What am I gonna do? Oh, no. Shall I do a little bit on the top? I think I will. I think I need to clean some of these brushes as well. They look a bit worse for wear. Okay. 
So I'm going to use that red again. I rarely ever use the blue in this palette because honestly, it doesn't go well with the red or the, the rest of the color story. Like the burnt orange and the reds go well together, but the rest of it kind of doesn't. So I want to like, that blue is kind of a waste in my opinion. And I'm just going to get a big old fluffy brush where I have it there now. And just blend all that in. It's amazing the difference like a good fluffy brush can do. It just softens the whole look up. I know I wear a lot of reds in that, but like reds are my favorite color and my eyes are green. So anything with a purple undertone, like a red or a burnt orange or even purples and that kind of thing, they look really good on green eyes because it'll make your eyes pop. Oh. oh, it's getting a wee bit dark now, so I better hurry up and finish this look before I lose all my daylight. Okay. Like it's only, it's only a little, it's only a little bit of makeup. We're not doing a full look today. Um, mascara, where am I going to use? I'm using the Elizabeth Arden, which one is this? The Standing Ovation Mascara. I've started to really love this one. Um, it does get a little bit clumpy, but I have another one that separates, so we go with this one first. Kind of see the more I build on it, the better the lashes are. Okay, so for the bottom lashes, I use my Christian Brayton um, Paris Endless Lash Mascara. Not a big fan of this one at all, but I just like it's it's fine for like lower lashes. Now on the lips, I'm using NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. I love this color. I just think it's like the perfect nude. Now while it's a lip cream, it's not a liquid lip, and it will evaporate or just disappear. It's not like long lasting, but it just looks nice in the and the liner I'm using is the lip liner from Lancome in the shade 254 Ideal. really love this lip combo like I really feel it's, it's really good and really nice. Okay so that's that done. I am going to do my liquid eyeliner and I'm using this one from Wet n Wild. It's the waterproof one that I initially hated and then I loved it and now I'm kind of going back to hating it again. It's kind of a love-hate relationship with this eyeliner but yeah let's go. sometimes it's good just to use up some of these products and get them going a little bit of highlighter I'm kind of back in my highlighter phase again I went out of it for a while but now I'm kind of back into it again and I'm using Mac soft and gentle because I just kind of I used it at the wedding and I kind of only used a smidge 
But I just like the look it gave me to kind of give a more healthy looking glow on my skin. So I was like, oh, I haven't used that in a while. And I'm pretty sure I have a couple of boxes of this somewhere in the house, so I may as well start using it. So yeah, that is it. And I'm gonna do a little bit of white eyeliner in the waterline just because to stop me looking sleepy. I'm not gonna put on any eyelashes or anything like that because I just can't be bothered. Okay, that's it, just to kind of waken up the eyes. I think I've everything done. Yeah, I'm just gonna go out to my sisters and drink tea and talk shite, as I do. But yeah, that is it. Thank you for watching today's Makeup Monday. I haven't had a lot of news really, it's just the wedding and the madness. And if you checked out my Instagram, uh, what else did I put it on? TikTok, I think I put some videos on TikTok of the wedding and yeah, it was a bit mad. We got we got very drunk, we got, we got drunk, it was very good. So guys, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Thank you for watching today's Makeup Monday. It's just a quick little something, something. Oh, I'm actually wearing nails. It feels so weird having nails. So clicky. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching today's video and I shall see you in the next one really soon. Bye!